from a moving business to the international art world. The story of Mana. Mana Contemporary in Jersey City was founded in 2011. In the years since, the art center has succeeded in creating a community of artists unlike any other. What's great about Mana is that they're not traditional, they're outside of the institution norm, they're open to ideas, so you kind of break away from the traditions of museums and it is more inviting and allows artists to have studio space, right, to work, puts together shows in a sort of faster kind of way for consumption, if you will, um, and uh, just engages with the community. Once I saw the studio, I was like, yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll do that. It's like this crazy kind of luxury in, I mean, I've been fighting for studio space for 30 years, you know, constantly being moved and pushed and rents through the roof. And anyway, I feel a little bit settled. Everybody arrives in the morning, goes into their studios and works. And um, that kind of environment, I think, is sort of, it's sort of nice. It's got a nice little pumping energy. What used to be an old tobacco warehouse built in the 1920s is now a seemingly unending labyrinth of artist studios and exhibition and performance spaces all situated on two million square feet, less than a mile from Jersey City's bustling Journal Square. When you're here, it really feels like the artists really care about this space. It's a self-sustained arts institution, so we have mostly art studios here and art storage, and that sustains everything else that happens in the building, so all the exhibitions that happen, the events that happen. It's an experimental format for an arts institution. There's nothing really like it anywhere. It's a very new mix. We have artists working in the building, and the other component is that we operate a little bit like a museum and that we have exhibitions and programs that are available to the public. So it's a little bit like going into a workspace for an artist and a museum at the same time. In the 1980s, Manic Contemporary's chairman, Moisha Manna, immigrated to New York from Israel and grew a small moving company into a global business empire. Now, Manna is also in the business of building communities through the arts. And while this location continues to be the company's flagship art center, Manna has also developed two others in Chicago and Miami, each uniquely adapted to its environment. Mana Contemporary founder and artistic director Eugene LeMay is also a working artist. His Jersey City studio is like a cross between an office and a museum. So the business element of it is, is creating these communities throughout the country, okay? And these are creative communities. If you think about it, it's all connected. So the community needs the arts, or a city even needs the arts to, to function as a, a good city for the education of children, education of the community. But, you know, we didn't know when we went into this how successful it was really going to be. And you don't know in any business, you know, business is 50-50 when you start it. You don't know exactly what's going to happen. But what happened was it was a huge success story overnight. Shai Baitel is Mana Contemporary's chief strategist. We are located in a perfect situation because we're 10 minutes drive from New York City, Soho, and we are 10 minutes drive from Newark Airport. We are in the conjunction of the trusted area, whereas many artists can come and reside at Mana, create their art with no boundaries because everything is large here. They have natural light, they have large um, spaces, they have high ceiling, they have everything they need to freely create. You don't have it in New York City. You don't even have it in any at a borough that outside of Manhattan. So it goes from you know month to year, everybody talks about it. We never really embarked on a campaign or advertising because I thought it wasn't a good idea for something that should be kept like a best kept secret. We offer education programs, so to how, to, how to develop their careers. So if it's marketing, if it's uh, social media, if it's finding a gallery, if it's writing grants, all these professionals come in and they educate the people. So that's why the, the idea of Manus was created to make a platform for artists. They can meet collectors, they can meet museum people, you can meet uh, 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 other people in the art world, and they can develop themselves. 
Mana is about communities. Mana is about artists, collectors, collaboration. It's about the process of creativity. It's about what's good in art and why everybody should be part of it. And we are still writing, you know, the story of Mana.